Hi there. Now, why bother with a cup of tea in your dusty study when you can party with a cocktail on an exotic island? Well, I could think of a couple of reasons, but still. We are drawn to the exotic and far away places where everything looks, smells and sounds different. So, when you're done with your ACDC licks and, and bored with your major and minor arpeggio sweeps and chops, then my friends, it's time for something new and exciting. It's time for the exotic pentatonic scales and wander off into a new mystical world of unknown tonal resonations. So sign on to the Four Master and set sail to explore our first paradise island to discover a new skill with many, many to follow. We all know the major and minor pentatonic scale. And those are actually the same skills with different starting points. The starting on the C it will sound major. And starting on the A it will sound minor. Now in this tutorial we'll explore 12 new pentatonic scales that are less common and sound refreshing if you're looking for a new sound. Now some are really exotic and others will sound more modal because they are extracted from modal scales. In the end, all of these scales uh, can be replacements of modal scales, which makes them very useful and very diverse. Now, pentatonic scales are what the name implies. These are five note scales and often the five note scales are minimalized versions of six, seven and eight note scales. Now modes of the major scale, the harmonic minor scale and melodic minor scale, for instance, can be reduced to a five note equivalent. Uh, and we will discover that in this video. Now, besides reduced versions of modal scales, there are also ethnic scales that are simply five note scales and that's it. Uh, there are no seven note versions of these, uh, these scales, simply because they are created as being a five note scale. Now, these scales sound more exotic than the modal pentatonic scales. Also because we are not used to the sound. Now, probably you, you are watching this video to discover the exotic sounds, right? So we'll start with the ethnic scales. After that, we will move on to the more uh, modal sounding scales that have a slightly familiar sound if you're used to dealing with modes. Now, the first exotic and ethnic scale is the Hindu scale also known as the Indian skill. The formula looks a lot like uh, a minor pentatonic skill, but it has a major third. And the formula of this skill is a tonic, a major third, the perfect fourth, the perfect fifth, and the minor seventh. Now these skill degrees outline a dominant seven chord or dominant 11 chord. So the scale would sound great over these two chords. And scale patterns in the, of this uh, scale look like this. Now the Hindu scale sounds uh, like this in a rock lick. The dominant scale is always associated with Egypt, pyramids and pharaohs. And yes, it actually sounds very Egyptian. But there is another scale that's actually called the Egyptian scale. Although this scale doesn't really sound like an Egyptian scale to our ears. It's the second mode of the major pentatonic scale. Just start any major pentatonic scale, like the C major, for instance, on the second note of that scale and you're done. Now the degrees in this scale are the tonic, the major second, the perfect fourth, the perfect fifth, and the minor seventh. Now here are some patterns for the Egyptian scale. 
Now, because of the missing third degree, the skill is also called a suspended skill. There's no third. So the skill, skill works fine over suspended chords too. Now, here's a skill played over a sus2 chord, for instance. But also over a Dorian chord progression, the skill works like a charm. Asavari is a Hindustani classical raga, which is performed in morning hours. And a raga is something between a skill and a composition, a kind of improvisation subjected to cultural and musical rules. Now, although the scale is played different ascending than descending, we will use only the ascending pentatonic version. The formula has something from a Frisian skill, and the skill degrees are the tonic, of course, the uh, Frisian minor second, the perfect fourth, the perfect fifth, and the minor sixth. Now the scale sounds like this. Because the scale descends from the Phrygian scale, you can play the Asafari scale over minor seven chords. Still, the scale has no third, and it contains a flat nine and a flat 13. So over dominant seven flat nine and dominant seven flat 13 chords, this skill is an interesting choice. Especially the semitone interval between the tonic and the minor second now in the semitone between the fifth and the minor sixth, give this skill its characteristic raga sound. But also in metal, this skill can be a fine solution. Skill patterns for this skill look like this. Now the Yo skill is a very typical sounding Japanese skill that is specifically used for traditional Japanese folk music. And it's based on an Ionian skill omitting the major third and major seventh degree. And the structure of this skill looks like this. A tonic, a major second, a perfect fourth, a perfect fifth, and a major sixth. And you could also see this skill as the fourth mode of the pentatonic major scale. Although it's based on a major scale, it misses a third of the scale. And this makes that the scale is suitable for minor chords too, and especially for the Dorian mode, because of the major sixth. Uh, that's the characteristic note in the Dorian mode. Chords that fit the scale also are uh, major chords, like the major 7, the major 9, and major 13 chords. Scale diagrams uh, of the Japanese Yo scale look like this. Now, the Insen scale was created for Japanese instrument Dakoto. Uh, that has a specific Japanese sound. Now the scale is constructed of a tonic, a flat second degree, a perfect fourth, a perfect fifth, and a flat seven. And it sounds like this.
Now this scale can be used over minor seven, dominant seven and dominant seven flat nine chords. Here are some scale diagrams for the incense scale. Now this versatile Japanese Hiroyoshi scale is a beautiful scale with five usable notes that are similar to the modes of the mage scale. Now the scale comes from tuning a 13 string koto, D, E flat, G, A and B flat. So all 13 strings would sound something like this. The first mode has the following structure, the tonic, the major second, the minor third, the perfect fifth and the minor sixth. This mode resembles the Aeolian mode and is used for minor chords or minor seven chords for instance. Now the second mode is a Locrian sounding scale. The structure looks like this, a tonic, a flat second, fourth, the flat fifth and the flat seventh. This scale sounds well over minor seven flat five chords. The third mode is much like an Ionian mode. The tonic, the major third, the perfect fifth, the major sixth and the major seventh. So this mode is perfect for major seven, major nine and major thirteen chords. The fourth mode of the Hiroyoshi scale is a mode that resembles the Phrygian mode. The structure looks like this. The tonic, the flat second, the fourth, the fifth and the flat sixth degree. Now this mode is suitable for playing uh, over minor seven chords for it. Now the fifth and last mode is a Lydian sounding mode with the scale degrees the tonic, the major third, the augmented fourth which is characteristic for the Lydian mode, the fifth and the major seventh. Now because of the Lydian character this mode is uh, perfect for playing over major seventh sharp eleven chords for instance or just major seven chords of course. The Komoi scale is yet another Japanese scale used by many jazz guitarists and more rock orientated guitarists like Guthrie Coven and Steve Vai. It's essentially a major pentatonic scale with a minor third. Now this brings us directly to the melodic minor scale, which is also a major structure with a minor third. So we can say that the Komoi scale is a pentatonic version of the melodic minor scale and that makes it very interesting. The scale is constructed of a tonic a major second, a minor third, a perfect fifth and a major second. Now here are some scale diagrams for the Kumoi scale. The tonic of a melodic minor scale is a minor major seven chord or minor six chord. So over these type of chords uh, the scale works perfect. of the minor third and major sixth 
makes the scale also a Dorian sounding scale and more than suitable for Dorian modal improvisations. Now there are five modes of the Komoi scale that sound very characteristic and non-Western, except for the last one. And that's what we're looking for, of course, that these exotic sounds. Now the second mode is a very colorful mode and it has a tonic, a flat second, a fourth, a fifth and a minor seventh. <laughs> the scale resembles the Phrygian mode, taking into account that this scale has no third, it can also be used over dominant 7 flat 9 chords because of uh, the minor second, which is the same as the flat 9. The third mode is a Lydian sounding scale which has a dreamy but happy character. It has a tonic, a major third, an augmented fourth, the major sixth and major seventh and the augmented fourth can't resolve to the fifth. So it will always have tension, but with a happy character. Now the fourth mode has no third and sound not major nor minor. It has a tonic, a major second, a major fourth, a major fifth and a minor sixth. Because it has no third, it can be used over suspended chords. Now, if you want to compare it with a mode, it should be the Aeolian mode. And the fifth mode of the Komoi scale is practically a blue scale in our Western ears. It's hard to hear anything else in this scale, which is funny, of course, because uh, the blues scale has absolutely nothing to do with Japanese folk uh, music. It has a root, a minor third, a fourth, a diminished fifth, and a minor seventh. Now the tonic of this scale is a ma uh, minor seven flat five chord, so over these chords the scale sounds nice. Now the dominant pentatonic scale is a modal scale that is derived from the mixolydian mode omitting the 4th and 6th degree, which renders a dominant 9 arpeggio. Still, it feels more like a pentatonic scale. Now the scale consists of the tonic, the major 2nd, which is also the 9th, the major 3rd, and uh, perfect fifth and minor seventh. It's mostly used over dominant seven and dominant nine chords. It sounds like this. Patterns for the dominant pentatonic scale look like this. Simply put, the major flat 6 pentatonic scale is a major pentatonic scale that we all know so well with the minor 6th instead of the major 6th. If we dive deeper, we'll discover that the scale is derived from the 5th mode of the melodic minor scale, that you may know as the mixolydian flat 6 mode. Now the 5th mode of the D melodic minor scale, for instance, is the A mixolydian flat 6 mode. The scale consists of the notes A, B, C sharp, D, E, F and G. Now omitting the 4th and 7th degree, like we do with the common major pentatonic scale, uh, we'll get the major uh, flat 6 pentatonic scale with the notes A, B, C sharp, E and F. 
The scale degrees that are created are the tonic, the major second, the major third, the perf perfect fifth, and the flat sixth. Now here are some scale diagrams for the major flat six pentatonic scale. Now the major flat six pentatonic scale is a very versatile scale that you can use for many, many chords. Analyzing the scale, we can derive the A dominant seven, the A dominant nine, and the A dominant flat 13 chord from this scale. So over a dominant chord, this scale sounds pretty good. Now you can also start uh, the scale a whole tone higher than the root of the dominant chord over which you want to improvise over. This uh, works fine too. Play the A major flat 6 pentatonic scale over a G dominant chord. And maybe you know that the dominant altered scale is the melodic minor scale, starting a half step higher than the root of the altered chord while you uh, want to improvise over. So the D melodic minor uh, is also the C sharp altered scale, suited for playing over a C sharp altered chord, like the C sharp flat 5, the C sharp flat 9, or the C sharp flat 5 flat 9 chord. And it sounds like this. And because the scale is derived from a melodic minor structure, which has a minor major 7 chord for a tonic, we can also use the scale over this type of chord too. Now the major flat 6 can be used over a D minor major 7 chord, because of the A minor A major flat 5 scale is the 5th mode of the D melodic minor scale. Simple as that. The minor flat 5 pentatonic scale is nothing more than the good old minor pentatonic scale with a flattened 5th degree which gives it a Locrian character. Theoretically, this minor flat 5 pentatonic scale is derived from the uh, sixth mode of the melodic minor scale that goes by the name Aeolian flat 5 or Locrian natural 2, containing the notes A, B, C, D, E flat, F and G. Now, omitting the second and sixth degree creates this minor flat 5 pentatonic scale. And the structure becomes this. The tonic, the minor third, the perfect fourth, the diminished fifth, and the minor seventh. Now, here are some scale diagrams for, for the minor flat 5 pentatonic scale. And the tonic of this scale is an A minor 7 flat 5 chord. So over this chord, the scale works like a charm. Now, as we've just seen, the scale is derived from the melodic minor scale. That has a minor major 7 chord as a tonic. So this A minor flat 5 pentatonic scale works over C minor major 7 chord too. It can also be used over altered chords like the dominant 7 sharp 5 or dominant 7 sharp 9 chords for instance. Now stay with me. The C melodic minor scale is the parent scale of the A minor flat 5 pentatonic scale. C, minor, C melodic minor is also the B altered scale when played over a B altered chord. That's because the altered scale is a melodic minor scale that starts a semitone higher than the root of the altered chord. C melodic minor over B altered. So the A minor flat 5 pentatonic scale can also be used over a B altered chord. The trick is to play the minor uh, flat 5 pentatonic scale a whole step down from the root of the altered chord uh, over which you want to improvise over. A minor flat 5 uh, pentatonic over B altered. So, what have we seen? A lot, that's for sure. 
So it's not a luxury to present an overview of all the pentatonic scales we've seen here. Now, now we've seen the ethnic and exotic scales that we've discovered in this video. And those were the Hindu or Indian scale, the Egyptian scale, the Asafari or Japanese scale, the Yo scale, and the Incense scale. Five modes of the Hiroyoshi scale, and five modes of the Kumoi scale. Now, the true modal pentatonic scales we've studied in this video are the dominant pentatonic scale, the major flat 6 pentatonic scale, and the minor flat 5 pentatonic scale. And we can designate the exotic scales as modal scales too, because the structure hides a modal scale in every exotic scale. The Komoi scale, for instance, can be seen as a pentatonic version of the melodic minor scale, and so on, and so on. Wow! What a journey! So many different pentatonic scales, and we thought there were only two, the major and the minor. Isn't this a revelation? Because there are so many scales, it's hard to choose the right one. Maybe it's best to take them on one by one, and get really familiar with one scale, and then move on to the other. I will make an ebook about this subject, so you can study offline at your own pace. A link will be placed in the description, and I will post when it's done. So, subscribe to be posted and hit the notification bell. I hope this was crystal clear for you, and I want to thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please consider to uh, leave a comment, uh, make a super thanks, or become my Patreon. Greets from the Netherlands, and bye.